Well, hello, my gems. How are you today? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Do you like my look? Do you like my shirt? Yeah. My, my earrings. Ooh. Ooh, la la. I love my earrings. I love them. It has that peridot stone in the middle, the green peridot, and it has opals all around it. Yeah, so today we're going to be playing with a Juvia's Place palette and the lipstick. Ooh, got it upside down. See, Juvia's Place palette and the lipstick. So, yes, I'm excited to do this video. For those who are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for clicking on my video. And I please subscribe. It's the only polite thing to do. This is just a thank you to me and just for my services and doing this tutorial for you to watch. It's free, it doesn't cost you a thing, so just hit the subscribe button. It doesn't hurt, it helps me out. So please hit, I need to, I'm trying to build up my subscriber base. So for those who aren't new, who've been here, who are subscribed, thank you for watching, thank you for supporting me in my journey, my YouTube journey, and thank you in seeing where I go with these makeup tutorials and yeah, I just keep, I just keep on chugging. That's what I'm going to do. Just keep on choo-choo, chugging, 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 chugging. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to go ahead and get into this video to get started with the tutorial. We're going to go ahead and swatch this palette. It's called The Tribe by Juvius. Okay, so the first shade here is Ma Maasai. The next shade here is called Oromo. The next shade here is called Tutsi. And this shade here is called Oro. And this one is called Chaga. So let's go ahead and swatch. Let me raise up my sleeve here. So we're going to go ahead and swatch Maasai, Oromo, Maasai is really light, you can barely see it, Oromo, the next one is called Tsutsi, the next one is called Koro, And the last, not the last one, but the fifth one is called Chaga. Chaga, look at that copper. Oh my goodness. Chaga, 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 chaga. Chaga, 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 chaga. Okay, so going on with the next shades. This is Cuba. Cuba. Oh, look at that nice teal. Love it. This is Ashanti. Ashanti. Next one is called Kurla. And the last one is called Sun. There you have it. Wow. Lovely, lovely palette. This to me reminds me of a summer and fall palette, but today I just wanted, I wanted to create a summer, summertime look with these shades. So, wow, love them, love them. So I created this look. I didn't use all the shades in the palette for the simple fact that, um, well, they weren't going to give me the creation that I wanted to create for this look. You know, I wanted a summertime, neon neon vibe look so these are the colors that i used actually you see it's like i'm giving it like a gradient effect because lately i've been doing a lot of gradient eye looks lately but yeah and then um let's watch we have the empress Lip Collection by Juvius in the shade Candice. Ooh, ooh, yes. I didn't show y'all this, huh? So it has, comes with two 
liquid lipsticks. One is a matte and one is a metallic. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch these on my hand so you can see how they look. They're on my lip right now. Okay, so they're on my lip. I know if y'all wanted to see my, my pucker there, but I'll show you the shade. It goes well with this look. I love this nude shade. I love it. Let me tell you the formula. I mean the, 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 well, I can't even speak because I'm so astonished. Like the, the amount of product that's in here that you can actually get. It's like, it's a lot, like a lot goes along, a little bit goes a long way. Um, for instance, let's, let's, let me, let me swatch this one here. I'm just going to barely dab it and look how much product you get. You're getting a lot of product. Okay, you see, you're, you're getting a lot of product. Just that was just one little dab. Look how far it spreads. Oh my goodness. That's how much that one little drop one little drop created so like this is gonna go a long way for me this is gonna this is gonna last me a long time I love it I love I love products like that that you know it's gonna last you a long time you know before you even finish before you even hit bottom now this is a metallic shade and I am also it's also the same consistency as the other one where you it's it's a lot of products so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little dab here next to that one so there goes a dab and I'm going to spread it spread it out oh my goodness well look at that look at that that's beautiful love them love the shades so yes this is what we're going to be working with today so i hope you'll enjoy this video i'm sure you will and um and if you have the products with you just jump right in and follow me along in this tutorial so yeah maybe one day you can do a youtube video where you can follow me on a versus i tried following a glitzy gems um eyeshadow tutorial <laughs> so but yeah so without with, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all have fun and let you get started with your tutorial. See you. Every single day. Okay, well here we are we're gonna go ahead and get started with this tutorial I can't I'm so excited I can't wait to try it okay so we're gonna go ahead and prime my eyes I'm gonna use my concealer brush just any type of concealer brush is fine I like the one with the fat with the flat paddle ends so I have to get your tools get your stuff ready Sometimes I try to be, sometimes I don't. So here we go. I'm going to put on my concealer. So the concealer that I'm going to put on today is by ColourPop. And this is in the shade Fair number 8. Okay. And that's the darkest, fairest shade in the ColourPop selection for the fair shade. And these do dry quickly if I have not mentioned that in my previous videos if you watch if you continue to watch my videos you're gonna realize that this that I've I've, I've told you that <clears throat> before but I'm gonna continue to tell you that in each video because not everybody watches all my videos be nice if y'all would be nice if everybody would watch all my videos but everybody has different tastings in makeup 
And I'm just spreading all that out. Spreading the love. Spreading it out. Hope everybody had a good day today. Yesterday, I wasn't feeling good. Today, I was feeling a little better. Yeah, I was feeling a little better. A little nervous because I was like, okay, am I going to feel sick today like I was yesterday? But I think yesterday I was just, I was just hungry. I think my, my body was telling me, Glitzy, you need to eat. And today I've been eating uh, my five meals like on my weight loss plan. If y'all haven't seen the first session, y'all need to watch that if y'all want to. Uh, if y'all want a, a, a weight loss meal plan, I have one for you that I've tested out for 10 months before even bringing it up. And I'm still losing weight, so so it's a good one. So I've been following my plan. I didn't follow it yesterday like I was supposed to because I didn't eat my snacks like I was supposed to. But today I have been and I've been feeling a little better than than yesterday. Matter of fact, I just got through eating a salad, hint, hint, for session number two. I'm not going to do session number two until, what, until the end of September, maybe, or the beginning of October, because I'm giving my viewers, the ones who do want to take my weight loss serious, their weight loss, not mine, but my weight loss program serious, and their they're serious about losing weight. My sister is actually doing it. She's actually incorporating um, other other foods to substitute some of the foods that I mentioned to her that I would eat, and she was substituting them with other types of foods, which which is helping, which is helping her too. She's she's been losing weight lately. Now she's been losing weight. And she's been happy. She's been ex she's been happy. She She's happy now that she's seeing some results. She needs to work out though. I'm not sure. If, I don't think she's been. I'm not sure if she's. She has a treadmill at home, so she needs to work out. So, sister, if you haven't, she doesn't watch my videos sometimes, but if she does, sister, if you haven't used your treadmill while on this diet, use it. Use your treadmill. Don't be like me where I just leave it like I use it like a coat rack. <laughs> I do. I literally have like sweaters on my treadmill. And I use, I literally have like clothes on my treadmill that I actually plan on wearing the following day. I set them there to get them ready for when I wake up in the morning and get dressed. So, yeah. My tread, it is true what people say. They're, they're used for coat rack, coat rack sometimes, and I never really even understood or caught that phrase, or never understood the phrase, or never, it was just like, like I had no, like, I had no clue why, why they would use that phrase, why they would say that phrase, and now I know. Now I know. Now that I'm older and wiser, a little wiser, <laughs> well I am wiser, I'm already, I'm going to be 40. On the 22nd of this month, I'm going to be 40 years old. Yes. I am old. And as you can see, but water keeps me young. Keeps me feeling young. Keeps me looking young, I think. Keeps me looking looking younger than what a 40-year-old would, would look like. I think right now I look like, a, look like my age with this headband. But like I mentioned um, in one of my previous videos, I'm going to start wearing headbands because... I have a high forehead and I have a lot of wrinkles and I don't have money to do Botox or any or any of that type of stuff and so when I do my tutorials I don't want you to see my I don't want you to be concentrating on my forehead wrinkles they are aggressive they're aggressive so that's why I put on this I put on a band now I'm starting to put on a band because my hair is thinning out as well I got a lot of little baby hairs that are growing out new hair growth that's coming in so I'm having to deal with that too. Now, um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to use my Cosmopolitan brush set.
which I normally use, uh, you know, on a regular basis lately. I've been using it. This is my eyeshadow brush, blending brush, pencil brush, flat angled brush, and this is my smudge brush. So we're going to use my eyeshadow brush. Okay, we're going to use my eyeshadow brush. Okay, as I was saying, we're going to use my eyeshadow, my eyeshadow brush. And we're going to go into this lovely palette, The Tribe by Juvia's Place. I love Juvia's um, formulas. Oh, did you see the swatches? Oh my God, they are beautiful. <sighs> I'm telling you, Cuba and San, they're two of my favorite shades in this palette so I showed you the package the front now this is the inside you already seen that but oh look at those beautiful colors beautiful beautiful colors so I'm trying to get the lighting to where you can see the colors and it's actually blinding me it's blinding me so here are the colors blinding it's blinding oh my goodness is blinding me well I might have to deal with that that's how I'm sitting from afar because it is blinding all right so we're gonna go ahead and start off with this light green shade here and it's called Maasai Maasai There it is, better lighting. Maasai. I'm going to use this shade Maasai first. And I'm going to go ahead and start just with my outer corner. Like I normally do my regular techniques, just outer corner above the crease, into the crease. And just work my way in, into the eyelid, into my eyelids. Just work its way in. I know it's a light shade, that's why I chose it first. And it's the outer corner. Is it the other side the same way? And just with the loose wrist not tight just loose that's why it's so easy to kind of flow with the brush whenever you have a loose wrist okay so now going in with the next shade I'm going to use is, um, it's the next green shade in this palette. It's called Tootsie, Tootsie, Tootsie. Tootsie, that's the name. We're going to use Tootsie, the outer corner. And just bring it in as well. Just bring it in. And this looks like a neon palette, but it's a it's a khaki neon. which is pretty neat because I've never seen a palette like this before where it's like a khaki neon palette I might have another palette like this 
well, not from Juvia's, but it's a different palette that also has neons and other shades in them that are not neon shades. Like this palette, you know, is not all neons. You know, it has different shades in them. But, um, I think that's the palette we're going to use next after this tutorial. I'm in a good mood today. I think I'm in a good mood to, you know, to film these. These tutorials. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get closer because I, I am noticing that my camera is like kind of focused. <laughs> so let me get closer. So... Ooh, it's looking beautiful. Look at that vibrant green. And these brushes are wonderful. I love these brushes. And I only paid like, what? $5.99 or $5.99 at the store. Yeah, good bargain. So, the next shade we're going to use is called um, Oromo. Oromo right here. <clears throat> Oromo or Oromo. I'm not sure where they emphasize the O's there. And I uh, want to start like, like it's kind of like the center up, but do the center outer crease. I think that'll give you like a guide. Start with the center outer crease and just work your way down into the crease you know and down to the lid area and see if you can kind of blend together with with the green Tootsie shade or Tootsie sometimes you know it's hard to know where the emphasis in the um, in the in the Pronunci and the pronunciations are in these words. Have you tried looking them up like on Google Translate to see what they translate to? I have. And I was I was shocked at some of the words that that they use in some of their palettes, in some of the Juvia's palettes. I would enter I would go into the Swahili. I think I think they're I'm not sure if their native tongue is Swahili. But I would translate the Swahili to English and it'll tell you the definition or yeah, it'll tell you the definition, what it means. And there was one that it was like a light shade. It was a light shade in this palette. Not in this palette, but oh my God, I'm blurred. It was a light shade. It was like a white shirt. It wasn't a white shimmer, but it was a, a it was a light shade. That's what I'm trying to say. It was a light shade and when I translated it in Swahili it means dark or darkness or something like that and I was like well it doesn't match the color because the, the, the color is <clears throat> it's a light shade so how could it mean dark but you know it, it's a that's just I guess that's just how they do their palettes. But yeah, Google Translate will will let you will help you um it'll help you with the words, like what they mean. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with this shade here called Kurla. Kurla? Sorry, sorry about the lighting. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna do it in the same position as we did Oromo, which is this orange, light orange shade. We're just gonna do it right here and just bring it down the center. Just blend it in with Oromo. It's like we blended Sutsi with a uh, with the other shade, which was uh, Masai. And just 
go right down the center and just do these little circular motions and yeah you're bringing it in in towards the inner corner of the eye creating like an ombre effect type look here Ooh, look at that it's beautiful I'm telling you I love Juvia, Juvia's formula I don't know I gotta hand it to them they have the, they have really nice formula very nice formulations so now The last shade I want to go ahead and use from this palette is called Coro. It's Coro. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use that. We're going to use that for the inner corner. So let's go with Coro and just blend it from the above the crease into the crease and outer corner. And just blend that in. Almost like you're doing like a some ombre effect. Beautiful, it's a beautiful shade, coral. Okay, I am gonna go back though with the green because um, I want the green to emphasize in my look, in this look that I have. I want the green to emphasize. <clears throat> so we're just using the inner corner. Oh, I gotta excuse my lights in the back how they're moving around. It's because I have a fan on. I don't like to keep my air conditioner at a very low temperature. I want to save, conserve energy for cost purposes. I do not want to spend a lot of money on electricity. So this is how it's looking so far. So this is how it's looking. So far this is how it's looking. It's looking beautiful. So now we're going to go ahead and go in with Masahi again. And we're going to use that. The outer corners. And just blend it in. Above the crease. And just blend it in. And just go above the crease and just blend it just above the crease and the outer corner. Above the crease and outer corner. Okay. We're going to do it for the other side as well. And it's such a light shade, light green shade you're barely gonna see that maybe if I put it in the eyebrow bone you'll be able to see it <coughs> excuse me I still got a little cough let's just stick with, well, it's in there in the eyebrow bone, but I'm also sticking it in the outer corner in above the crease area. Let's do this side the same way again. I'm just going back and forth, just building up that color. Do it shade, just try to build it up. Okay, now we're gonna go in with <clears throat> Tootsie again. And we're going to do the outer corner, just the outer corner of the crease.
Wow, that's beautiful. <clears throat> I do want to emphasize more orange, but we're going to go with Kurla, which is the darkest orange. Kurla, right here, darkest orange. And we're just going to dab that in there, spin it in there, just kind of just kind of spread it more closer towards the inner corner but not too close because you still want oro to show which is that shimmery light shade but I want to bring out the, the orange as well in this ombre effect look That's looking now. Okay, we're gonna use more coro. Coro is this light shimmer shade here. And we're just gonna put it here. one already has enough but it looks so beautiful Alcoro. you can actually just go in the eyebrow bone but here just the inner corner eyebrow bone okay don't go all the way out Because we have the other shade, the green shade, the, mahas, the Maasai. We have that shade already in there. So now that we have both shades, both sides, I mean, done, we're going to do the bottom waterline, the bottom lash line. Let's see, just making sure these are even. Okay, let's do the bottom lash line. Let me use my pencil brush for this. My pencil brush is this flat pencil brush. And we're gonna go in with this color Ashan Ashanti. Ashanti. I don't know what it means. I'm gonna look it up. But it sounds I don't know. Sounds nice. Ashanti. I wonder what it means. Ashanti. bottom lash line wow that's I did put too much I did put too much but you know what that's all right I just wanted to look a little lighter but it's okay I'll just spread it out just spread it out just keep Sweeping it out. Sweep this side out here. Sweep it out. Ooh, so what do y'all think? Nice, right? Now we're going to go ahead and go in with another shade. This one is called Chaga. Chaga. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and put that underneath the brown to give it a shimmer. It's actually Ashanti. Let's put Chaga on top of Ashanti. Chaga. Chaga or Chaga. How you pronounce it? I'm going to look it up. And Google Translate. I did want that shimmer effect, so that's why 
I chose chaga to complement Ashanti. I like getting a shimmer. I always scratch my nose on it. In every video that I notice, I'm always scratching my nose. Scratching my nose because I am having like I was having allergy problems, allergy sinus issues. But look at this how it looks. Look how beautiful it looks. Wow. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we're done with the eyeshadow part. So now I'm gonna come off camera and do the rest of my makeup, get all glammed up. Okay. So stay tuned. Don't leave. I'll be right back. And I'm back. So I didn't do the lipstick because I did show you the I did show you the lipstick kit in my introduction and we're gonna use this one called Candace. So I already lined my lip with my auto lip liner by LA Colors in the shade nude. It's already lined it. I'm not sure if I'm out of place here. If there's any missing areas. I think right here. I think I'm going to lower this down so you can see. Right here. And this is outlining it. Okay, so now we're ready to apply the, the lipstick. First, I'm going to go in. It has two shades. It has a matte shade and it has a, a metallic shade. Um, I'm not sure if they have different names, but I know that the kit is matte metallic liquid lipstick and it's in the color Candace. So, you're supposed you can wear them either way. You can wear them either matte or you can wear it with just a gloss, with the metallic shade. I want to do both. So we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and do the matte first. Mmm, these smell like vanilla cakes. Like, like vanilla batter. You see I just did one application. And it was a lot. So I just went ahead and I just puckered my lip like that. And both sides got, you know, because I used the lip liner. So, so now I don't have to like go over on the top side of my lip. But, um, oh, it smells like, like cake batter. It smelled real good. I don't know how to, I didn't know I had a scent like that. It smells really good. And now we're going to go over it with the metallic shade ooh look how beautiful this one also smells like well no this one doesn't like like cake batter this just one smells like just like regular it has no frag it has like a like a chemical fragrance but it's the liquid lipstick fragrance smell and I just puckered that too. Mm, yeah. Really? Yeah, and the fragrance goes away. The chemical fragrance goes away. But there you have both shades. Maybe the lip liner wasn't the the best lip liner color I should have worn. I should have worn like a, like a different nude, different nude lip liner. But yeah, that's how it looks now. So <clears throat> let me get straight here. Here's my finishing look, guys. Let's get back so you can actually see the actual finish. And of course, I'm gonna have to display my that I used. Both palettes. Okay. 
So here you have it from afar. So here you have the look from afar. So I'm gonna get up close so that you can see the finishing look for both my lip and my eyes. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna close my eye. You're gonna see the shades. So there goes the finishing look. What I did uh, for my top lash line, I went ahead and I used my Avon Mark on the Edge Medusa shade liquid eyeliner. And I think this is the best liquid eyeliner. Liquid eyeliner. Not the ones with the pin, with the felt tip pin, but liquid eyeliner. I really like it a lot. And for the bottom um, waterline, I use this brand new um, Hard Candy Take Me Out liner. Yeah, I use this and it's in the shade Truffle. 811 Truffle. And it has glitter specks in it. Glitter specks in it. So I use that for the bottom lash line and waterline. I use this. Now for my mascara, I went ahead and I tried a different mascara because I wanted a brown mascara. Because this um the liquid eyeliner is brown. My bottom what my bottom waterline is brown so i said well let me go with brown mascara so i went ahead and i did the uh adrian vitadini adrian vitadini studio mascara and it's brown like a dark sh dark shade brown i guess you can see that and then i put on these lotus earrings so I went in with my Lotus earrings. They have that peridot, peridot stone in the middle and then opals on the sides. Beautiful, beautiful um, earrings. I love these earrings. And I, this is my finishing look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and you like my shirt. It's mesh, neon mesh. Even though this is, I wanted it to be like a, um, a summery neon look. It actually is, to me, I think this look is more for like the fall. Because of the colors in this palette. You know, it has a lot of browns and oranges. So, and it has some teals that we have not used. We didn't use the teals. But, um, I wanted it to give, I wanted a neon look. But, uh, it looks more like, a like a khaki neon to me and it's something that you can probably wear that's probably best worn like in the fall and even in the summertime I well, I guess you can also wear it in the summertime so you can wear it in the summertime and you can also wear it in the fall so this is a good summertime and fall look if you ever want to recreate this look you know what to, you know what items to get so I love you gems thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video well I can't see you but I hope that you watch me in my next video and please subscribe if you haven't done so uh, like my video give me a thumbs up for my efforts in this look and um, yeah uh, hit the notification bell if you haven't done if you haven't hit it yet um, it'll notify you whenever I upload another video so that's what I have to say today and thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Love you, Gems.